Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Learnify channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing something slightly different. Today, I'm going to be covering some anatomy. We're straying away from the IB biology topics. As you guys are also graduating with me, we're going to be going into more anatomy-based anatomy based videos. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you do smash that subscribe button, like, and comment down below any topic suggestions. I'm basically your free tutor right here. And also, I'm going to be doing a giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. I know that's an ambitious goal. We're currently at 294, but I believe we can make it with you guys' help. And um, without further ado, let's get started. Today, we're going to be looking at the anterior or frontal muscles of the um, thigh region. So the frontal muscles here and some of the medial muscles of the thigh region. Now, the frontal muscles, because of the way they originate and attach, for example, if you look at um, this muscle right here, we call that rectus femoris. And rectus femoris um, has its origins near the hip and it attaches to the patella. And because of that, when it flexes, it moves it this way or flexes the hip. And so that goes with basically anything in anatomy. Anterior things will flex when they contract, anterior muscles, um, posterior muscles will extend. And if we think of medial muscles, if these contract, it'll, sorry, that's the other way. So uh, one of the example muscles is this one we call gracilis. Um, and if this one contracts, it exerts force this way and it can adduct the leg. All right, so we'll go over basic movements in anatomy in another video, but today we're going to just be labeling it. So firstly, I'm going to label this muscle. This is called the psoas major now the functions of psoas major as i suggested um, it is um, a an, an anterior muscle right um, because even though it sort of looks like it's on the inside your hip would generally be a hemisphere like the, like it would be hard, like the line of symmetry of the hip will be like there so it's not really on the inside it's more in the um, frontal aspect or facing forward so um, it may seem confusing, but psoas major is there, and its function, main function, is flexion of the hip. Next, we have this big, um, large muscle. We call it iliopsoas, and why do we call it iliopsoas? Because it's in the iliac space or the iliac um, fossa, and it is next to the psoas major. So we call it iliopsoas muscle. And next, we have this muscle called tensor fasciolata. Tensor fasciolata. I'm not going to write out the whole thing. But tensor fasciolata is a muscle that connects from um, basically the hip to the uh, tibia and the connection part or the, um, the line that the tendon that connects it. We can see it like right here, sort of. We call that the iliotibial tract. And the iliotibial tract is what connects the um, tensor fasciolata and as the name suggests it will tense and um, because it's an anterior muscle it will lead to flexion at the hip next this muscle we're going to look at is a special muscle called sartorius this was super easy to remember because i remember jacob sartorius the guy who sang that weird song uh, sweatshirt well, i mean it was all right for about a week but um uh, sartorius is a weird muscle because as you can see it originates from a more lateral position and it uh, attaches or inserts into a more medial pos medial position because of that sartorius muscle actually has a lot of different functions so in terms of flexion it actually does both flexion of the hip and the leg uh, but in terms of rotation it actually does um, lateral rotation of the hip or the or the um, femur and then t medial rotation of the tibia um, just as the extended functions but for this video we're only going to focus on the flexion part next this muscle we have we call it vastus lateralis now vastus lateralis is this muscle in the vastus group which is um, basically what constitutes most of the anterior muscles because you can remember vastus lateralis vastus um, medialis and underneath rectus femoris is a muscle we call uh, vastus intermedius so underneath i'll actually do that in a different color let me do that in blue but uh, just to say under like underneath this one is 
vastus intermedius. Now the way I remember it is we have vastus medialis, vastus intermedius, vastus lateralis, and vastus rectus femoris. Those are the main ones and you can remember you can think of an acronym yourself for that one i'm not going to say it out loud we keep it um family friendly in this channel so um i'm not going to say anything but you guys can figure out a mnemonic for that or an acronym sorry and yeah moving on here we have the um, rectus femoris tendon and we also call that the patella tendon right uh, i'm sorry that's not the patella tendon that's the rectus femoris tendon and uh, the patella tendon is right here. Here we have the fibula head, and here we have the. Give me a second. I'm trying to draw this out. Here we have three different tendons, and these tendons, of course, connect muscle to bone as a tendon does. But these are the tendons of the adductors. Adductor muscle. Tendons of adductor um, and or the medial uh, muscles, and we call them pes and serinus. Right, um, and here we have this space we call the medial patella rectinaculum, and on this side we'll have the medial meniscus, on this side we have the lateral meniscus. Of course, that's going to be on the let me draw that a bit better. The medial meniscus, the lateral meniscus, we have the um, anterior cruciate ligament, which goes anterior medially from the fibula, tibia to posterior laterally in the uh, femur, and we also have the um, posterior, posterior cruciate ligament. Sorry, that's the PCL, the ACL. Also, we have the um, LCL connecting from the fibula to the fibula head to the um, femoral epicondyles and con femoral condyles, and we also have the medial co collateral ligaments. Now, that's um, mostly irrelevant for this video, but I wanted a holistic overview. So, um, what else haven't we named so far? Let me see. Of course, um, this here is the patella. I've labeled that. Here we have. Uh, something called the inguinal ligament and the inguinal ligament goes from the anterior superior iliac spine to the pubic tubercle um, its uh, purpose I would assume similar to the ligaments there is to prevent um, hyperextension of the hip actually um, scratch that I searched it up just now because um, I was just blanking out the inguinal ligament. Um, it's actually its purpose is not to do with that, but it's just providing hip flexibility. So yeah, my bad. We have another muscle here called pectineus, which also has a role in um, uh, hip flexion. Now moving on to the adductors, we have adductor longus, longus because it's long, and we also have um, over here, somewhere underneath that, we will also have the adductor magnus muscles in this region, but we're going to go into that in a different video because this one is mainly focusing on the anterior compartment of the leg. And yes, we got into a bit about the medial compartment specifically from this diagram that I got as the um, anti the medial ones as well with the anterior and I thought it'd just uh, look better if we label it a bit instead of um, just keeping one side labeled but um, that's going to be it for this video guys under 10 minutes we were able to cover every single anterior muscle and if you guys are watching this video a good exercise could be just to label it without me like label it and then get it checked Try labeling it yourself, and that's a good exercise to do. Prepare you for your exams. All right. Other than that, thank you for watching. Make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe, and comment down below. Be ready for the giveaway. Peace out.